Hi Andrew, how did you originally get into running? Um, so I got into it um, from quite an early age. Um, I think I joined a uh, local athletics club when I was about 10 or 11. Uh, I'm up in Caithness and I think really from there I just uh, I just really enjoyed athletics, enjoyed being part of a club, the, the social aspect of it. I think once uh, once I finished university then I kind of began to take my training a bit more seriously and looking to um, uh, get improve my kind of times and and uh, yeah and then I, I got called up for a Scotland uh, vest and it's kind of just um, escalated from there really. You've run all sorts of distances from uh, 5Ks, park runs, 10Ks, marathons. You're actually the Aviemore course record holder of the, the park run here. Um, so what do you prefer? Do you prefer the, the speed or the trails in the mountains? Yeah, I've become a bit of um, jack of all trades and, and running. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy the variety of it. I think. I think with running sometimes um, it can become a bit monotonous if you just do the same thing over and over again. So I like to mix it up, you know, in the, in the winter do a bit of um, road and cross country um, and in the summer and enjoy the mountains and the trails. Uh, I think that's what I really get a, a kick out of um, is just kind of experiencing all those different aspects. Like sometimes you you just kind of got the need for speed and you kind of just want to get out in the flat and on the track and just blast out a really kind of hard session. Other times you just want to have a really long run in the um, outside in the trails where you know you don't see anyone for, for miles and miles and you've just got kind of great scenery. So Last year you hit the heights in mountain running and came fourth in the mountain running rankings. How, how did that feel for you? Yeah, that was great. It's um, it's the first year that they introduced a world ranking system um, to mountain running, uh, which is I, th I think it's a really great idea. It's, it kind of gives a bit more um, context um, to the sport, and um, it gives kind individual athletes something to really fight for over the over the season. So um, yeah, I was I was really happy to to finish the season um, ranked fourth. Um, I finished th uh, third in overall in the World Cup series. So, so, um, so I kind of accumulated enough ranking points to kind of be there and thereabouts, um, and yeah, I think kind of going forward, I'd hopefully I can um, sneak off a, a couple more places and and maybe even one day get that top spot. That involved running abroad uh, in a race called Sierra Zanal. Um Was that something that you really enjoyed uh, run, racing abroad? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love to travel and I love to um, experience kind of different uh, places, different cultures, and and running is a great way to do that. Um, through whether it's through racing, whether it's through training, um, yeah, you get to see some um, actually kind of stunning places. But I think particular Sears and Al was uh, was an amazing race for me to do because um, it kind of brought together the kind of long distance. Um, mountain runners as well with the short distance and I've made for like a really competitive field um, and it's an absolutely like stunning kind of part of the of the world it was um, yeah really beautiful. Sierra's and all that was part of the Golden Trail series which has got other races involved with it um, including Zagama and the Glencoe Skyline. Do you have you any plans to take part in any of those races? Um, I, it's certainly something I'm thinking about for, for this year. The, the um, races tend to be a bit on the kind of long side for, for what I'm kind of doing just now. Um, with the mountain running in the European and World Championships, so usually over around about 10k distances. So, so I like to keep my kind of races relatively short for the most part. But um, I think um, certainly there's there's kind of room for kind of going to the going to the kind of longer type races. So it's it's something I'm kind of keeping quite a fairly open mind about, and and we'll see if there's maybe a couple I can I can do this year. I can persuade my coach. <laughs> At what stage did you decide to get a coach and how's that impacted on your running? Yeah, so um, me and uh, Sophie um, started working together back in 2009. Um, it was after I uh, came back from a gap year out in New Zealand and um, I just finished university. Uh, I was um, kind of at that 
kind of stage in my kind of running career where I, I, th I think I was a, a good club athlete but I hadn't quite made that um, step to international and I, that's kind of really where I wanted to go so um, so I kind of started working alongside Sophie and um, you know she would give me sessions that would kind of really challenge myself but she'd also be really good at giving me advice on when to kind of hold back and um, and I think it just kind of works really well as a as a partnership. Like we've, um, yeah, we've been kind of through the, some like really kind of good times, some some really kind of challenging times. But I think um, I think we kind of built that kind of relationship where we both kind of can talk to each other like kind of freely, and we can both like express our opinions. And I think that's that's ultimately what you want from a from an athlete coach relationship. What does your nutrition look like? Is it a strict Control diet, or do you like to let go and eat some beers and burgers now? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not one for um, being absolutely strict on my nutrition. I mean, generally, I, I think I do eat, um, eat kind of quite a balanced diet. Uh, I, I like my meat, veg, um, protein, everything, um, everything. I think that you would uh, you would want for um, for like an all round um, kind of runner's diet. Uh, I, occasionally, you know, I think you've got to treat yourself every once, once, uh, once in a while. So, um, you know, I'm kind of not afraid to do that. But at, at the same time, you know, it's consistency is, is always key with uh, with the kind of diet. So you don't want to go too crazy too often. <laughs> yeah. It's nice now and again. It's nice now and again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how have you coped with injuries? Have you any? long-term issues and how do you know when a niggle is more serious? I mean fortunately I've not really had a I would say a, a major injury in, in my running career and um, that's probably say the worst that's kind of happened is maybe kind of a couple of stress fractures um, and a, a torn calf muscle but um, nothing that's really kind of kept me out um, for more than two or three months. I think what I tried to do um, to Kind of reduce the risk of injury is I do a bit of um, strength and conditioning and, uh, and yoga as well. Uh, it just kind of helps. I think, I think when you kind of build a, a, a solid kind of core, then it helps with your kind of running economy and um, your stability. And it just kind of you know I, th I think with the with the mileage that you do in, in distance running, injuries are almost kind of inevitable. But if you can do your kind of most to to reduce the risk of injury, then you do whatever you can to do that. Yeah. What's been your most memorable race so far, and do you like to wreck your course beforehand? Um, my most memorable race, um, yeah, it's a toughie. Uh, I think the one that I'm probably most proud of um, was uh, when I ran the, the World Mountain Running Championships in 2015. It was in Wales, so. Um, it was like uh, so. It was a home um, home championships, so that was great because we had um, a ton of support out on the course, and it was it was fantastic to have people like just kind of waving flags at you, kind of screaming at you, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and um, you know. Um, I personally had a had a really good run, and so did uh, my teammates as well, um, and we ended up winning like a team bronze. Um, you're running pretty much every day. Is motivation ever a problem for you? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's there's definitely some days when you know you kind of just it might be a, it can be for a variety of factors. It could be like the weather. It could be because because it's really cold and wet, and you just don't really want to get outside. Other days, you know, you just kind of might be a bit fatigued because you've been um, kind of heavy training week or or even like um, kind of working and stuff as well, you know. Um, if you've had a particularly kind of stressful day and you just kind of want to chill out and go home. But I think like, you know, I've always tend to stick to a routine. Um, I think the I think the big motivation is always, you know, you have to train to if you want to perform at the level that you want to perform at. So, so I think like you know, the, I I tend to always find a way to um, to kind of motivate motivate myself to get out, which is uh, which is kind of good. Yeah, and I, yeah, you always kind of try to remind yourself that yeah, you always feel better for it at the end of the day. At this moment, um, last week, for example, what uh, a typical training would consist of? How many days a week are you running? How many? How, what sort of distances are you doing? Yeah, so at, at the moment, I'm um, over winter. I'm kind of typically 
um, training like kind of twice a day most days. Um, I'll uh, I'll do around about kind of 90 to 100 miles a week, um, and that'll be yeah, a kind of mixture of steady running. There'll be um, an interval session in there as well, um, track session, uh, a long run on a Sunday, which can be between like 18 and 20 miles. Do you have a favourite piece of kit? What's your go-to shoe? Yeah, I love um, the kind of variety of uh, shoes that I kind of wear with um, a kind of hokas and, and particularly when I'm out on the trails, I like wearing the speed goats because um, they kind of give you that bit of extra kind of comfort and support when you're um, out kind of hitting some of the kind of harder kind of trails and also you can kind of get that bit of kind of speed as well so like kind of, I like to kind of um, tear it up a bit on the trails so so it's nice um, it's nice when you can have that bit of uh, bit of cushioning to that effect it's uh, yeah it's great thanks very much for your time Andrew it's been a pleasure great thank you very much cheers <laughs>